that you're looking at pictures of right now. Yeah, the Caledon Courthouse caught on fire, and they're trying to figure out right now how it happened. Now, Marissa Sulik is there, and Marissa, you have the very latest. Yeah, well, Marius, we're outside the Sumner County Courthouse here right now, and usually because it's under construction, it's really loud. Usually these lifts are working, and you can hear all the hammers, but as you can see, because of the investigation, things are a lot quieter. Oh, my gosh! Flames and smoke fuming into the sky. That was the view anyone could see in downtown Gallatin Sunday night. But some were right there. So I actually live right across the street here at the, at the funeral home. Like Jeremiah Scott. I uh, walked outside, saw the flames coming up out of the roof. It almost looked like something out of a movie. It was kind of eerie. The fire erupted from the Sumner County Courthouse under construction, right across the street from the First Baptist Church where Scott works. We got a lot of texts from uh, a lot of church members asking, is the church okay? You know, is ash going over the church? Is there potential to start, you know, a fire at the church? Fire officials say there was no damage to surrounding buildings. The fire only impacted the roof of the courthouse, a roof they believe was hit by lightning. We did have some storms move through the area. We are working with the National Weather Service to, to determine if there was a lightning strike that did occur in that area. They say they hope to determine the cause the next few days. As for the building, it was set to open next year. Now that will be moved back. We'll have uh, architectural engineers come out and make sure the integrity of the building has not been affected. I'm certain that we're going to have to replace a large part of the roof. Now, one question a lot of people had is why there was such a big black cloud of smoke. And fire officials say that's because construction crews have some chemicals on the roof. One of those chemicals was petroleum. Tracy Marius. Wow. All right. Marissa Sulik, live for us in Gallatin tonight. Thank you so very much. Want to go